Hey, it's me, Tim, and I'm taking a quick little detour from my Great Guitar Build-Off project this week to show you a little sidebar to that project. Uh, I'll have at least one, maybe two more videos about that before it's done at the end of the month, but I just wanted to show you what I did with all the little cutoff pieces because, yes, I did save them. <laughs> this is some of the material left over from when I made this fingerboard. And these are all the pieces of wood still left over from the kit blank. You'll remember from earlier in the series, I used all my cutoffs to glue up and make a body for the mandolin as well as the blank for the neck. Um, but I still had some pieces left over, so my thought was to make a block out of them by encasing them in epoxy. And uh, I should have put a little epoxy in first to kind of glue them all down. They started to float on me, which I kind of didn't expect, and I had to quickly make a lid for it to compress them all down. Rookie mistake. So why do you have a block of that? <laughs> For my the great guitar build off thing, the idea is I'm gonna use I'm using every scrap of, of wood from the kit that was sent to me. And so So is this gonna be your thing that you're gonna do? Yep. So these are all these are all the cutoffs. And what I thought I could do is if I encase it in this epoxy. So the epoxy's not very eco-friendly. No, it's not. Um, but you know, we're we're doing um, this, this is a conceptual build. So I'll clean this up. And my thought was with this is to try and make like a um, a little guitar stand that it'll slide into. Mm, that could work. So I'm using it. Or you could make that part of your neck here for the small one. Um, I have the neck glued up already right here. That's all cutoffs from this too. Here are a couple gaps because of the stupid way that I put it together. You can fill those in. I'm obviously jumping around the timeline a little bit as this was a side project to my work, but um, after cutting out the mandolin neck on the CNC, I took all of the frame, the leftover wood from that glue up of scraps, and then glued it together to make uh, another block. But it got real interesting here. <laughs> I used a little total boat four minute epoxy to glue this down this time so it wouldn't float on me, and then I mixed up a big batch of epoxy with the same kind of metallic flake tint. This is interesting to see. I've never done a big pour like this, and as you can see, I got carried away and I poured it too thick. So we're getting this, uh, what do they call it, like endothermic reaction where you get this heat and bubbles and stuff. Um, all the chemical reaction that's happening in there is just gets kind of violent, as you can see. And um, so this will cause it to not cure properly. Um, but I think I'll be okay for, for my purposes because once, like, I'm just making this big block that I'm going to trim down, I, I, we'll see. This exothermic reaction happens when the epoxy starts heating up too fast and then it sort of snowballs and the heat makes it heat up even more and then it heats up even faster. Next thing you know, you got all these bubbles and gaps and it sort of boils over. And this happened partly because I poured it kind of thick, but also I blasted it with heat to get some air bubbles out and I apparently gave it too much heat. You also don't want to breathe those fumes in. It's weird how parts of it, like, are like kind of spongy and rubbery and then other parts are... Thin. But this is my concern, I don't want it to overflow. Well, this is super interesting for me um, because I've never had this happen. I, like I said, I don't do a lot with, uh, you know, big epoxy pours. I usually just use it to stabilize sort of broken wood. And, uh, I added too much epoxy too fast, and or too much heat, or probably a combination of both that caused this exothermic reaction. Uh, so you can see there's all these bubbles and holes in here after I cut it out. It all sort of bubbled up, and so now it's not as strong. It's brittle because there's all these air holes and pockets in here. And um, I could probably cut the wood out and pour it again, or maybe I could try to do another epoxy pour over this to fill the holes and make it bigger and brittle. I don't know yet, but I'll probably just maybe give up on this piece or maybe use it decoratively because um, it does look kind of interesting. I just decided to proceed with the plan as I planned because, well, you'll see why. It's going to work fine.
I didn't film it, but I also put a coat of Total Boat Halcyon finish on these, and I used a little bit of uh, Mod Podge to glue some fabric in the slot and at the top where the guitar touches the top of the stand. I've been toying around with flat pack guitar stand design ideas for a little bit of a while, and I have one that I make and use myself that I basically just copied off the internet. I haven't quite found my particular design for that yet. Uh, this is an idea that I had that is not the best uh, by any stretch of the imagination, but for this guitar it works, and it was a step towards maybe something better in the future. Uh, you know, I really made this one pretty roughly, just sort of prototyping the concept, and now that I've made this, I can use it to help me develop the idea, see how it works, how it doesn't work, how it can be better, you know how it is. Everything's a process. I considered cleaning all my tools before starting this project and sort of segregating my sawdust to do something similar with that, but I didn't for two reasons. One is I don't believe in segregation, and the second is I don't believe in cleaning my tools. <laughs> so I thought this would be fun to kind of prove my point about finding uh, you know, a little bit of uh, fun and creativity in the waste of things. To me, it is the best way to live. Uh, people often look at recycling and repurposing and you know, being vegetarian and all those things is like you're giving up something, but it is the exact opposite. You are gaining in the process. And every time I give something up or I try to be a little more frugal, um, I find that my life just gets incrementally better and I would encourage everybody else to try the same. All right, thanks a lot for watching. More about the guitar next time. Be good.